Okay, welcome back. You're joining us here on the Yes Carpet and of course on www.yesscotland.net and none other than joining us is the legendary Brian Cox. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Did you enjoy this morning? What was it like for it you? It was very nerve-wracking, but it was finally very enjoyable. Now, a lot of the people that we spoke today um, spoke very highly of how powerful your speech was. Um, you know, it came right from the heart. Scottish nationalism and Scottish independence is obviously something very close to your heart. Scottish independence, Scottish yeah. nationalism is something different. Scottish independence is something that uh, is very close to my heart. And, uh, you know, I was, you know, it's something that it's come to me kind of organically over my life. It's not something I really believed in. But having lived abroad, having lived uh, outside these islands, having lived back in these islands, uh, back here in Scotland, uh, I just realised yeah. and I looked around that what's happening in the world generally. And I think that this is time that Scotland asserted itself. This is time that Scotland, it's long overdue, was independent. Yeah. And, uh, and independence is only the beginning. It's not an end in itself because we will have to redefine everything. We'll yeah. have to have new parties. We'll have to have a new Labour Party. We'll have to have a new Conservative Party. Yeah. We'll even have to have a new Liberal Dem Democrat yeah. Party. So it's, the, it's just the beginning of something. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like having a book and starting to write everything from scratch exactly, again. Isn't it? Exactly, and it's very exciting. And the potential is enormous. It is hugely and enormous. And in my time of life, I, I can't think of anything more exciting and anything that I'm more passionate about. I didn't realize I was as passionate about it yeah. because I was, I've always been cool. I've always taken off because of what this Scots has get on. I'm not, you know, that's not for me. But now, in my time of life, I realized that this is the, now is the hour. Yeah. This is the time. Now, obviously, you travel, uh, you, you travel around the world and you meet a lot of Scots abroad. What do you think they'll think to the kind of independence campaign? I think a lot of Scots abroad, you see it's interesting, I said it in my speech today, the Scots abroad feel very, very Scots. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, you know, the, the Scots diaspora in America alone is probably triple the Scots population and they feel sometimes more Scots than the Scots are. Because mm -hmm. we've always had an uncertainty about, at home, an uncertainty about our position. And it's made us, sometimes this, this mentality of we are not worthy. Mm -hmm and it creeps in and it's undermined this concept. We, yeah. we can be our own worst enemy in that way. Yeah. Now, I think we've got a lot to be proud of because we've done a lot. We should acknowledge yeah. our history and say now is the time. And it is about that pride. It, it really it? is yeah. about that and pride and it's not a false pride. No. It's not a kind of spurious nostalgia or romance. It's real. It's very, yeah. very real. <clears throat> and I think we're grateful and I do acknowledge the, 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 the I do acknowledge Alex Salmon and the Scottish National Party for, for actually, you know, putting it on the agenda. Now, you work a lot with uh, the arts and the creative world as well. Um, how do you think it will help the creative industries um, if, if Scotland were to become well, independent? I, well, first of all, we'll have our own tax payment parts. And we'll be able to look at the financial and economic efficacy of creating uh, a mini film industry, and I think that's really possible in Scotland. I think we can do amazing things because technically we have, we have certainly the artistic yeah. talent, but we also have enormous technical talent. I mean, look at them all here. Yeah. Oh, these guys are going to be Fantastic. You know, he would benefit greatly because we would have a proper industry. It, that's never happened in England, mm -hmm. and you know, we've also had to compete. Uh, I mean, it's been up to the local councils, like Glasgow last year, they did a tremendous job of bringing two films here, uh, and also during the 90s we brought two huge films, Braveheart, and, mm -hmm. and that should, uh, and what's that? Oh, we've, Rob, we've got Rob, Disney Rob Roy. Pixar coming this year as well. Got Pixar, Rob, yeah. Rob Roy, I was involved in them, I couldn't yeah. talk about <laughs> Braveheart and Rob Roy, and, yeah. and that, to me, is what should be happening on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we dropped the ball, we, we, and we dropped the ball because fiscally we couldn't do it. Now fiscally we can, and there's all kinds of ways of working out how it works, not just in terms of tax, but in terms of an infrastructure which feeds the industry. I think it's enormously would you enormous say, potential. Would you say that you're almost an ambassador for independence? To Scotland, well, for Scotland? I'm happy to be so, yeah. if they want me to be, I am happy to be so. And what would uh, an independent Scotland mean to you? if it were to happen in 2014? It would complete a sense of belonging. It would actually give me, it would give me my home back. I've always felt, uh, quite deeply I've always felt that I'm a, you know, I'm a wanderer, you know, and I think this is 
very much part of the Scottish condition. You, yeah. know, you look at people like Andrew Carnegie, um, David Livingston, Robert Louis Stevenson, John Logie Baird. You know, they're sort of not only them, but the people who are not known, who yeah. kind of wandered away from Scotland because 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 of where they were here, yeah. you know, not not being quite part of something. Yeah. And I think that's what it would it would it would complete the sense of belonging. Probably. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on the Yes Carpet. You're the welcome. one and only Bangkok. Thank, thank you very you. much, Bangkok. Cheers. Oh, yes. <laughs>